So when we try to create visuals for our data, we usually want the data to be sorted in certain way. And most of the times you can sort data by choosing alphabetical sorting order or sorting a column based on another column. But sometimes there are situations where the those those two scenarios are not sufficient or not applicable. So if you need to apply a custom sort, how do we do that? So suppose we have a categorical variable which contains various education levels. How do we sort it in an order in terms of how the education progresses from school to university to so on and so forth? So that sort of custom sort, how do we create and apply it in different situations? So let's understand the data first and then we will go and learn how we apply the custom sort. So this database, basically this is a customer data for a bank and I have here the customer ID, which is the unique ID for custom each customer, around 2000 customer data in here. We have their birth year education. So this column education, if we look at this, it costs these values of um, bachelor's degree, master's degree, PhD, primary and secondary education. Now, this is the column I want to sort in a particular order based on how the education progresses like primary then secondary and that's what we're going to learn how to do that uh, and this technique can be applied to any categorical variable like that where you want to sort in a particular order so let me just create a simple column chart here and i'm going to put the education on x-axis and i have also got a small measure here called simple measure called number of customers and I'll put that on y-axis. So we here, we have this. So if we see here, bachelor's, PhD, master's degree, and let me just sort this axis by education and by in ascending order. So this is how I want to sort ascending, but I don't want to see this order, like this is bachelor's, then master's, then PhD, and then schooling is at the end. I want primary, then secondary, then bachelor's, master's, and PhD. So this is the problem that we're trying to solve here. Let me just do another thing here quickly where I create another chart and this time I put the marital status on x-axis, number of customers on y-axis and I put the education on the legend here. Let me just change the position of legend here to center right so that it's clearly visible and now let's make this slightly bigger. So I have this chart here where I have the education column as a legend and I have same issue here in terms of the sorting. So it could be actually on any of the axis or it could be legend and also it could be in the slicer options as well. So if I add the education field in the slicer and you will see it's the same order here as well. So it's being sorted in alphabetic order and that's not what I want. So how do we actually now create and apply a custom sort to this particular column. So one of the options is that we need to create, if we see here, we have five distinct values. So we need to assign a unique sort order to each one. So one to primary, two to secondary, three to bachelor's and four to master's degree and five to PhD. Now we can do this in multiple ways. One way is that you can come here to home tab and click on enter data and you can enter the data manually here. Now, this method is okay if you just want to do a proof of concept, a quick and dirty solution kind of thing, this is fine, but it's not easy to maintain this one because in future, sometime down the line, six months, one year down the line, if there's a new education level in there and you need to adjust this sorting order in some way where somebody say an uneducated and all those things, then how do we maintain it? Then you will need to come back to Power BI Desktop, Power Query and edit it and do all those things. So this is not recommended if you're trying to create a solution which is easy to maintain in the longer run. So in production systems, so I won't recommend it this, recommending this uh, create table option. So the best option is that we will go and go to Power Query. So we'll launch Power Query Editor. And what you can do is, if let me just go to my desktop and I have a file here called Education Sort Order. So this is an Excel file. So what you can do is you can create that custom sort order in an Excel table here, give it the values that you want. So let's just do this smallest to largest. So we can see primary education is one, secondary education is two, 
bachelor's degrees three master's degrees four and phds five so i have created the custom sort that i want to apply for these values and i have saved it in an excel file and now i can bring in this excel file into i don't need to save this i can bring this excel file into my model here so i'll just go new source excel workbook in power query editor and i'm going to bring in the education sort order field value um excel file and here i have a table called education sort order and you can see the values are there already and i'm just going to press ok so here we have this um special education sort order table which contains those values now if things need to change in future you can just go and edit the excel file and refresh your model basically and everything will be updated automatically and this is one way another way is you can up create a table in a sql server or you can create uh, and store something on uh, SharePoint. There's so many other ways, but you think ahead of time, how do you want to create a solution which is easy to maintain and manage? So now once we have this, we want to merge this education sort order into this custom customer data so that we can sort this field education field based on that order. How do we do that? So you select the customer data table here or query here, go to home tab and far right here, we have merge queries option click on merge queries and select the education column in the customer data table next select the education sort order and select the education so we the columns which are common between the two queries are education column it will match on that you can see here the selection there's a complete match 2216 rows complete match and then you press ok and once we do that we see here on the right hand side we have a new column here called education sort order and this is a structure column so we see we have brought in the whole table the other table here and now we can choose which columns we want to keep from there and if i just click on the cell not on the actual word table just in the cell you can see what it contains as well so this is bachelor's degree so it contains a bachelor's degree in three those two fields now we can expand on this so click on this icon here in the right side and then make sure you uncheck this option because we don't want to prefix any name to them and the only column i want to keep is the education sort order column and press ok and here we have the education sort order column okay so education education sort order column and this education sort order actually if you think about it we don't need this in our model now because the field that we need to sort is already now already there so best thing to do is right click here and disable load so uncheck the box next to enable loads make sure it's unchecked this way this table exists in power query but it's not being loaded into the data model so always think and make sure you only bring in the necessary data you don't want to bring in any unnecessary data into your data model so that's that and now close and apply and once we've done that we know the changes will be applied and data will be refreshed in our data model so we have this here now so education column education sort order column let's now select the education column and in the column tools at the top click on sort column by and then select the education sort order so now we sorted this education column based on this sort order and now if i go back to my report view and you can see this has already been refreshed so primary secondary bachelor's master's phd most number of customers are graduates they have some sort of um, university degree bachelor's degree basically here and if we see here same thing with the legend also it's completely sorted the way i wanted to see it so i've applied a custom sort here and also in the slicer also the same sorting has happened so this is one thing that you can solve for now if suppose another thing that can happen is suppose i have this education column and i now build a grouping on top of this so i'm going to create a new data group so i'm going to say the primary and secondary education i'm going to group this together and call it school education so that's one group then bachelor's degree and master's degree i'm going to group those together and call this as um, university education and also we have this where we select the PhD and group this as research okay and let's actually rename this to 
education groups okay and if now let's go here and let's create a new report page and in here if i create a new column chart and put the education groups here on x-axis and number of customers on y-axis and if you see here the sorting order is urs so let's actually specifically select education groups and then sort the axis in ascending order so it's research school education university education now logically i want to see school first then university and then research now again we need to do a custom sort but this particular column that i have added i have added inside the power bi desktop i haven't imported it it's kind of dax calculation behind the scenes but we use the ui to create the data groups now if i go into the power query editor and look at the customer data table you won't see that column here so that education groups column is not available inside power query so now how do i create a custom sort order for that column again the method is quite similar so first thing you're going to do is you're going to bring in the data where you have so i have already created an excel workbook here which contains the sort order for education groups so let's see we have this table here called education group sort order and it contains school education university education actually it contains other let's actually fix this so i'm going to go open my excel file and here i want to say research and this is number three your school education university education and research and save and close this file and now let's bring that in in power query editor so i'm going to go excel workbook click in open it and select this column education group sort order and press ok so you just saw that you know how easy it was for me to change the value in there in excel so it becomes so much more easier to manage and then you can just refresh your model after making those any of those changes so, so we have this here now thing is we can't do any merging because we don't have the matching column the groups education groups column here so what we will need to do is we will need to load this into the model so let's close and apply so if i go to the model view we can see we have this column here uh, sorry this table here education group sort order and then we have education groups and education groups in both tables so let's create a relationship between these two based on education groups there we have the education groups relationship now built and now what we can do is once we have that relationship built we can bring in that particular sort order column into this table using a bit of tax dax so what we're going to do is we're going to add a new column and let's call this education groups sort sort order and the way we will do it is uh, is we're going to use a function called related okay and the column that we're going to select is this one education group sort order uh, table and the education group sort order column from there and close the bracket and press enter so because we already have established the relationship between the two tables this related function will bring in this values from this column from the other table based on that relationship so we have this education group sort order populated here now what we can do is again always make sure you keep your model efficient so once we actually let's go back to the data view here so now let's apply the sort so education groups let's sort it by we go to column tools sort this by education group sort orders so this education groups column has been sorted now what you can do is we don't want to see this particular table in the report view so you can just uh, click here and then we won't see this in the report view because we don't need to do anything with this data we have brought in the column that we needed and also another thing you can look at is that these columns like education group sort order education sort order also we don't need to see in the report because already we have sorted our columns the way we wanted using these columns so we don't need to see these columns in our report view so 
don't bring in anything unwanted that you don't need in your model that way so here the columns exist but we won't see them here so this is uncluttered basically we keep it clean so now if you see here the number of so this particular uh, chart column chart has already been sorted so school education university and research and the same thing will apply if i had another sort of uh, another chart here visual here where i had say marital status and number of customers in y-axis and then if i use the education groups or as a legend and let's place it on the right hand side i like it there center right and now you can see it's already sorted school university research and same thing behavior will continue because we have our column has been sorted the right way so if i bring in the education groups we can see that we have the education groups also sorted the way we wanted so this is how you apply custom sort and the best way as i said is to apply through creating a table which can be easily maintained so what we did was we created um, two excel files added the tables in there with the sort order that we wanted to apply and then imported those into power query and built the uh, merged the data into our customer data table and then applied the sorting so that's how we do that. Now, if you want to practice something else as well, you can do is you can look at this marital status. So if I go here, the marital status is at the moment sorted in alphabetic order, divorced, married, single, widowed. Maybe you can build a custom sort order for this from say first single, then married, then say divorced and widowed. So one, two, th uh, three and four, so single, married, and divorced and widowed one two three four so try and create a custom sort for this particular column as well using the method that i have just taught you in this video and that's it in terms of what we wanted to learn so now you know how to create your own custom sort order and apply it and also how to keep your model always clean don't bring in anything that you no need in your model so in power query editor make sure you disable load for the tables that you don't need in your model and also hide the columns and tables that you don't need in your report view as well so this will keep your model clean nice and tidy and uh, that's it so try doing this challenge let me know how it goes uh, share your uh, comments in the comment section if you like what you learned uh, do like the video and if you haven't subscribed do subscribe the, to the channel as well to get notified of the any new upcoming videos and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching and keep on learning see you next time